Hi everyone and welcome to week two in environmental science. This week is more typical in that we just have one module for this week and it's focused on matter, energy, and ecosystems. If you check out the content page, you will see some learning objectives that relate to the content that's in chapter two of your textbook. On the second tab, I have some terms to know and I recommend that you make flashcards of these terms. And then there's some videos and diagrams to help you master some of the content of chapter two. So we've got chemistry, and then here's a video lecture that I made about energy and ecosystems. And then here's a couple of videos about um, nutrient cycling, specifically the carbon cycles. And then the second one is about the nitrogen and phosphorus cycles. After you're done going through the content of chapter two using these resources and the textbook, um, check out the discussion. So the discussion is called You're the Teacher Now because I'm asking everyone to choose one of the learning objectives for the week um, and find a high quality web-based resource that's both high quality and accurate Describe that resource, send a link to your peers in your posts, um, describe which of the learning goals listed here it will help your peers meet, um, and explain why you picked it. Why was it good? Why did it catch your attention? Why did it help you, um, you know, help you achieve one of these learning objectives? So please make your initial post where you share that resource initially on Wednesday and then check out some of the resources that your peers posted and respond to their um, resources by Saturday at the end of the day. There is a lab in the week two module that's focused on chemistry and Excel. So the chemistry part involves you using this FET atom builder simulator. It's pretty cool. So you are um, building atoms, subatomic particle by subatomic particle, and I'm hoping that it will help you meet the learning objectives about atoms. So this is the protocol to follow, and then here are some questions related to that protocol. The next part is about Excel, and basically I'm gonna walk you through graphing the data that you collected um, in the week one lab. So in week one, you started germinating seeds in different saltwater concentrations. This protocol is gonna walk you through making a little table of those concentrations and then inputting your data and then making a graph and labeling the axes. So by the time you're done, you should have two graphs created. And those are actually going to be included in the lab report that you eventually write about this lab. So um, it's a pretty practical activity because you need to do this anyways. And um, Excel is a tool that you'll use in other labs as well. So um, if you go back to the assignment, this is where you'll turn everything in. So what I'm looking for is the answers to those chemistry questions a screenshot of your FET simulation game results, and then a screenshot of your Excel spreadsheet containing your two graphs. So that is due by Saturday at 11.59 p.m. In addition to that, the week two module contains a practice quiz. This is a good way to gauge your understanding of the material before you take the graded quiz. So this is untimed and it's not graded. The last thing in the week two module is a graded quiz. So that one is worth 10 points. And um, I recommend that you kind of judge your progress and your understanding using the practice quiz and then take the graded quiz. The graded quiz is due also, um, here it is. It's called the week two quiz. It's also due Saturday at 11.59 p.m. Okay. As always, please reach out if you have any questions.